guys, today's video is going to be about how to store your soft plastics. I've been so, been through so many different ways to store your soft plastics. And I always feel like you get too many and the old way is just not good enough anymore. So I got like three or four different ideas here that's, that have been working for me. So let's just get right into it. Here I do my bags. This is the way I use right now. It's really efficient. You can keep a lot of baits and just flat. Here we got my drop shots. You can put all your little bags in one sandwich bag here. You can label the bag. And here's like three or four different four different packages. And you've seen how flat that was. That goes flat and you can stack all your different baits up. Push all the air out. And then goes so flat you can stack them on top of each other. My scent goes, that's a little different because I got so many different ones. But I got a bag for craws, drop pots, paddle tails, swim baits, all sorts of different things. Tubes. Um, different way is, I also use this way, but this is for my jigs. I love throwing jigs. It's like my favorite bass bait to throw. But here's my jig. This is a 3700 box. And over here you can tell I got all my craws. And then over here I got my jigs. I even got some horny toes down here. Um, this is a good way to store them. If you don't have so many soft bait or soft plastics and you got an extra couple of containers, throw them in the container. They're going to stay good. They're not going to dry out. Um, if you use a regular container, I think I got one over here, or not, right here. This one's got some stuff in, but like a container like this, your insides are going to warp, but with the waterproof Plano boxes, they're not going to warp. What I mean by warp, they're going to like start bending right here, these plastic pieces, and they're going to bend out in different things, in different areas. So with waterproof ones, you're not going to do that. So I'm going to recommend to get 3,700 boxes waterproof, or you can get the little blue waterproof boxes. I, I just love throwing jigs, so i got to have them right next to each other. And the last way is, I did this for a while too. If you get a little container like this, it doesn't have to be this container. Uh, I got another container right here. Keep them in here. But, just keep them like this. You can have all your soft plastics, just packages like that. Kind of got them laying down right now. But here you can just sort through. Pick your bait. It's really nice. Oh, right here. Like you're going through. Oh, need some paddle tails. There you go. All these are pretty efficient. It's just space. Space is key when you're fishing, especially when you're a bank fisher fisherman. You gotta keep it to the low, which if you are a bank fisherman, I would either recommend the bags or put them in your plain boxes. Because I do a lot of bank fishing, and this gets kind of bad carrying around. I used to have one with a handle, and I'd carry my soft plastics in that, and that was pretty nice. But that's how I would store my soft plastics. There's a little how-to for you guys. Should hopefully be getting out fishing this weekend. The snow should melt. Ice should melt. Hopefully we should have some open water. But thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'll give you guys another view quick of them in case you didn't get it because the camera's kind of angled weird. But thanks for watching. Leave a like and adios.